Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and today we're going to look at the 1982 Rebel Transport. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. Thanks for being here. If this is your first time here, this is what I do. I look at Star Wars. <laughs> any way that Star Wars touches my life in any capacity, whether it's through books or toys or collecting or the films or new trailers that are dropping, Disney, whatever it is, I love it all. I've been a fan uh, and I've been with the franchise since the very beginning. You won't find any hate here. This is all uh, love, all my love for Star Wars. So a little backstory. Um, did a video a couple of videos back where I went through a G.I. Joe collection, right? And uh, I was able to find homes for all those things and uh, found G.I. Joe guys uh, in my area and abroad that really wanted these toys. And so I was able to kind of, you know, pick it all apart and, and make sure it got into the right hands. And that just created kind of like a little bit of nostalgia in me. And I was like, ah, I, I should go back and, and get a couple more uh, ships and play sets. So uh, with, with no agenda at all, I had no, I was not looking for anything. Um, I just went out to eBay and I was like, let's see if there's any ships that are kind of in a state where they're missing a lot of pieces and maybe not too expensive. I'll pick one up and just rebuild it. And uh, the Hoth Empire Strikes Back Rebel Transport popped up uh, in my list and it was it was pretty inexpensive it wasn't it wasn't too much and it was missing pretty much everything <laughs> it was missing everything and I said this would this could be a fun uh, fun little project and it was never on my radar I never wanted this as a child and apparently nobody else did either uh, didn't I never wanted it as an adult uh, there's still a couple like ships or play sets that are on my dream list as an adult and I, I you know price has really been what's been keeping me away but uh yeah saw this and picked it up and i've had a lot of fun putting it back together and i thought i'd show it to you okay so here's our completed ship now and you can see right away there's some color uh differences between the two end pieces and the center that's because they came from different sets when i got this in the mail it was missing this whole back section and this canopy and in truth, even though it's a spaceship, right? It's it's not a fighter, right? It's not an X-wing. It's not a Tie fighter. It's not a combat ship. Uh, it's really a escape ship, right? So the rebels all get in this and impress X back and the escape Hoth. So it, I mean, it's almost <laughs> it's almost a coward's ship, right? Because this is what they're always uh, in when they're running away. So I don't know that even as a as a as a toy, it, it kind of says, buy me, <laughs> right? Because uh, it does have guns, but the guns are covered. They're in this back section. And I can see why as a kid, you would take these off and not play with them, right? Because these two pieces don't have any playability. You would take these off and probably never put them back on again. Um, the other thing is this ship is a uh, figure carrier, really because this holds 40 figures, all right? This holds 40 Star Wars figures. And so it becomes just like a, a little handle and you can carry uh, your ship around and inside the ship is all your figures. And we'll, we'll look at all of that. So right away, like I said, I had to replace these two pieces. This is the uh, canopy right here, okay? And I will say I've never had a ship that had removable parts like this before. Um, and aside from the TIE Fighter where the wings pop off, but I mean, that's a little different. These have little clips where they're supposed to snap into places. And I don't know if it's just because these parts didn't all grow up together, but they don't fit very well. So again, as a child, I can see why I would take these off and not put them back on because they're kind of a pain to put on and off. And originally when I got this, I, one of my first thoughts was, well, I won't, I won't replace these pieces because it doesn't, it is not, it doesn't look good as a display. You know, as a display piece, 
it just looks like a giant cigar, right? So as a display piece, I think it looks better, you know, with your figures here in the canopy, you know, flying, flying the ship. That looks cooler. And then in the back section, you have some decals for the, you know, the engine exhaust. But it's just, it's, again, it's, these are just big plastic nothings, right? But if you look in the back, well, now you have a figure and a gun. See, that looks cool. So this uh, would be how you would display it, or at least how I would like to display it. But then, you know, what do you do with these things? So that was the one of my first questions. But then I decided, you know what? If I'm going to restore it, restore it. You know, get all the get all the pieces. So there's some movable guns back here. Uh, I put a pilot back here, and I put two pilots up front. So those didn't come out of my collection. I I bought those along with the extra pieces so that I could have a little diorama. And then uh, this top part also comes off and it comes off with these little tabs right here. And again, it's not easy. It's not easy. So aside from the fact that it's big, aside from the fact that it's not really a fighter and also that it's really more of a, like a collector's case really of a ship that nobody liked, I can understand why it probably wasn't every kid's favorite and it wasn't. Uh, this came out in uh, 1982, like I said, for Empire Strikes Back. And by the time Return of the Jedi came out, these were still on the shelf. So <laughs> they didn't have to make a, a new one in a new box. The old Empire Strikes Back ones were still on the shelf. So this did not sell very well. Uh, originally, this is a handle, right, for carrying. And it's also a twist. So you twist it and then pull up. And if you pulled up, then it would take this um, top part off. See how this just floats off. So that's the entire front or the entire top. And you can see all the, the decals on there. And mine came with all the decals. That was another uh, reason I really wanted to pick this up is because I was like, wow, all the decals are on there and it's still vintage looking. So that's pretty dope. So then you have this um, inside compartment and this is really where you keep all your figures, okay? So all your 40 figures fit inside there. This is the, the prison or the, the, the stocks. This is the jail, right? And it's got a little hole there because it drops through to the escape hatch. So the way this would work is you can just take all your figures and place them upright like that and just stack them. I mean, if you've ever seen uh, one of these where all the figures were just in there, I mean, look at that, you can fit you can fit a lot of figures in this ship. So, and that'd be cool if you were a kid and you had that many figures, <laughs> right? Uh, the gun section back here, it pops out and you can put it aside and you can have like, you know, a little, a little gun section that um, sits on the ground. And then of course, this is the, the pilots up here. But once you remove the top, they don't have anything covering their feet. And again, I got both decals there, so that was nice. And... The other cool thing is um, these also become compartments for holding all of your accessories. And this came with accessories. So this actually came with five Hoth backpacks and four gas masks. So there was a, a mail away set that had those included at one time and you got some extra guns and you got the Yoda backpack. Um, but if you bought this, one of the, one of the selling points <laughs> was that you got five backpacks and four gas masks. So this section right here lifts up and so you can stick uh, accessories in there so you can stick all your guns and weapons, backpacks and whatnot in there. And then in the back, you can take, remove the, the gun, this also lifts up and so you can stick uh, accessories back there as well. So it really does become uh, a carrier in a lot of ways. You can lift all your men out if you, you know, wanted to play with them or put them aside. And then you got a beautiful graphic down there at the bottom uh, as well. And so the other piece that was missing was this black trap door down there. And I was able to pick that up as well. And you can see what it looks like on the other side. And it's one of those, you know, it's one of those action points where the character drops through. And I don't want to do it because I don't want to keep putting wear and tear on the hinges on this. And so I was able to get uh, that was my most recent acquisition, was getting, getting the trap door. Uh, if you didn't notice, I'm still missing one item. So right here on the end, 
I am missing one cannon. So one cannon is still not there. And I only need just the cannon itself. I don't need the rest of it. So it's been a little difficult to find just the one item. But I'm sure if I'm patient, uh, I can do it. I'll, I'll, I, can, I can wait, right? So I always do this. I always get um, figures for my ships. I don't have any ships on display that don't have figures. So I make sure that all my ships have pilots because I'd rather, I just like knowing that every ship up there on my shelf has a pilot. Making sure it all snaps back together. Okay, there we go. And yeah, I'll have to, I'll finagle these back on behind the scenes because they, they don't just, they don't just snap back. I wish they did. It's a matter of lining them up, kind of squeezing the sides and then pressing. But yeah, what do you think? Would you, how would you display it? Would you display it with these pieces on the front and back? I mean, it kind of works that way, but my, my thought was I was going to take all my figures out of uh, the shoe box that they're in because that's where I, I store all my figures in a shoe box. I put them all in this and then put this on the shelf where my shoe box is. So this really wouldn't become a display piece because it's not very attractive and it takes up a lot of space. I would actually just use this as storage. And so just make this a fun way to store my characters. Um, when this was first released, it cost $29. And like I said, wasn't very popular. Sat on the shelf for a long time. What do you think? You like the, the Rebel Transport? Is this a ship that you've collected? A ship that you've uh, ever wanted in the past? What do you think about its looks? How would you display it? Tell me down below and uh, I'll, I'll, I read every comment and I get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. May the Force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.